Alright, so in the next couple of videos we'll be getting input um, from pop-ups and using J option pane we can get output uh, there's a, it gives us a bunch of different options for getting input there's uh, something called an input dialog box which either has um, you can just type in or you can do a drop down list um, and then there's options dialog which um, just has a bunch of different over just has a bunch of uh, things you can set uh, and it basically has a bunch of buttons so you set a bunch of buttons and then the confirm dialog kind of is very similar to an options dialog except for it basically just says um, yes no cancel um, but this one's this one's very easy to use, whereas this one's a little bit harder to use. So if you're just asking a yes, no, or cancel question, um, confirm dialog would be easier to use than um, anything else. So um, uh, that's about it. Another thing is that since these these messages uh, they just show up and then you click on them with your mouse and then they disappear. Since they don't exist for that long and they're unlike the scanner guy that will sit around um, until you need him, this one required an object. Uh, so it required you to make an instance of him, so it required you to make, make a Bob or make a Fred. Um, required object. J option pane does not require an object. Basically, all you have to do is um, J option pane is just just a bunch of what's called static. These are all called static functions, um, and I, I'll talk about those later. But basically, static means they don't change at all. They always perform the same way, so you don't need to create um, different J option panes. They always do the same things, um, and unlike this guy, um, our scanner, who required each time you made a different one, you set it to a different file or a different console, J option pane, it doesn't care. Um, it's completely based off of the um, arguments that you give each of these functions. So I'll see you in the next video of actually how to program this.